Hello, welcome to the Suburban Outdoorsman, Nebraska edition. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, it's kind of cool is that though I live in the suburbs, my uh, uh, extended family lives in Kansas and Nebraska, so once a year I actually get to come out west. And that's one of the things to remember that if you do live in the suburbs, that uh, to try to keep track of extended family, uh, distant relatives, things like that, that do have farmland that you can hunt on. And, and this land here is... Uh, uh, up in north of Culbertson, Nebraska, and uh, it has got a lot of prairie dogs around these old buildings. They've poisoned all the rest of them, so these are the remainder. But that's nice because I can actually use my air gun here, and so that's what I'm trying to do today is get some film uh, of some air gun hunting. And uh, once I eliminate the short ranges with the air guns, then I'll I'll go continue and grab my uh, 223 rifle and probably take out some that are a lot further away. But uh, the only real concern I have is the other day this place had a lot of snakes and uh though most of those snakes were harmless uh, i mean if there's some harmless snakes it means there's probably some rattlesnakes so i got to be careful walking around so um well, i'm gonna go out here and give it a try with my benjamin discovery air rifle and let's see what we can do to get a few prairie dogs on film all right so he's gonna come back out so a little high a little left and i should get him this time Still short. Run out of air. Got him. Well, you saw how hard that was and how stupid they have to be in order to be able to shoot them with an air rifle out of this wind. So we're going to walk down here and uh, see what we got. Well, I hit him, he went back down his hole. That's not unusual, just want to tell you right now. Uh, I've seen them when they're blown in half go down their hole, so uh, there was no doubt I hit him though. I saw him jump up in the air and bow his back. Right. 